For more on this, let's bring in Matt Gelb, our friend from The Athletic who covers the Philadelphia Phillies. Matt, uh, good afternoon. Thanks for doing this. And I, I'm curious your insight and perspective on now Dave Dombrowski with Fold and how the front office is going to be reshuffled with also some familiarity of guys who've been there. Right. I mean, Fold is a GM in title, but really he's more like an assistant GM in responsibility. I mean, Dave Dombrowski is the president of baseball operations. Mm. He is the final decision maker on everything. He is, you know, essentially the GM. Like he has the typical responsibilities of the GM. Sam Fold will be more like an assistant GM, but it's a it's a big step up for him. And I think in a lot of ways there is some title inflation in this sport right now. And there's been a lot of interest in Sam Fold across the game. He's taken a ton of interview requests from other teams the last few off seasons. The Red Sox was just the most public example of it. And by promoting him to GM, the Phillies are protecting a person they think is really smart and really coveted in the game. Uh, and they put him in a position where he could possibly be that final decision maker down the line. They also promoted Jorge Valandia mm. uh, to assistant GM. He's been a longtime advisor in the front office. He's the first Venezuelan born uh, person to be an assistant GM in major league baseball. I mean, that is quite notable, I think. And, you know, Valandia and Fold were both players in the majors. They played, mm. Uh, for quite a few seasons in the majors. And I think, as you guys were discussing, that perspective is important. And I think that is a perspective that the Phillies might have lacked in some ways over the last few years. It's great to celebrate Valandia as being the first Venezuelan-born assistant GM in baseball. And now some Philadelphia fans, and maybe Adnan included, they're saying, okay, whoever it is, Dave, Fold, Valandia, we got Jalen Hurts feeling good about the Eagles right now. I want to feel good about the on-field product for the Philadelphia Phillies. And whoever's making the decisions, 1A, 1B, Rio Muto, bullpen, bullpen, Rio Muto. So let's start with the bullpen. How do they go about rebuilding? Trade Wentz. <laughs> <laughs> let's not get into that. Uh, I think... You know, the bullpen is a sticky subject here in Philadelphia, no doubt. I mean, we just saw historically bad bullpen. And, you know, the solution isn't going to be for them to throw a ton of money at it. I mean, they are certainly going to spend there. But I think they have so many open spots right now in the bullpen. And, and Dave Dombrowski sort of alluded to this yesterday. They can't spend on every spot in the bullpen. I mean, they only have one set guy really right now. That's Hector Neris, who, you know, maybe the closer might not be the closer, depending on who they acquire. I don't think they're shopping at the top of the market for that reason because they have so many holes. I think you could look, see them look at like a second tier or third tier type closer. There are a few guys out there uh, this off season. You know, Liam Hendricks is the guy everybody talks about, but he's probably at the top of the market. They have so many holes that they need to be smart about it, and, and they're not. They're, some of them are going to have to be filled internally. They're going to have to have some guys step up and take middle relief roles, and that's something that didn't happen for them last year. All right, Matt, last one for you. Will Phillies fans wake up Christmas morning and find out that Rio Muto is, in fact, going to stay with Philadelphia? What's the latest on the Phillies' pursuit to bring him back? I don't think it's going to be by Christmas. No, okay. I, I think, I think we're pretty safe in saying that. Uh, you know, look, I mean, they've made contact with Jeff Barry, who's JT Rio Muto's agent, and, and Dave Dombrowski has been on the job for about two weeks now, and he's had a lot of things to do, and JT Rio Muto should be at the top of his list. I mean, there's no bigger move the Phillies could make this offseason than re-signing JT Real Muto. It doesn't matter what they do, in my opinion, to the bullpen or anywhere else if Real Muto is not back because mm. there's such a gap between Real Muto and the next best option at catcher. You know, people are trying to figure out where are the possible landing spots for him, and I think Real Muto's camp has done a good job of, you know, keeping things quiet, and that doesn't mean that because things are quiet that there's no other suitors for Real Muto other than the Phillies. I do think there are other options for him, uh, and I think this is going to drag into January, and I really think uh, it's going to be incumbent on the Phillies to step up and, and make the offer that brings him back to Philadelphia because they have such a need at catcher, and this just makes too much sense for this to not happen.